Hey, my name's Tom, and I just wanted to uh, share a video with you uh, that I made. And it's actually uh, repairing a foot pedal, uh, the flushing foot pedal, on a uh, RV toilet, a Model 300 uh, Dometic. When it broke, I actually uh, called the dealer and you have to buy a whole new toilet. Now mine, on the Model 300, it screws on, uh, so I thought I could just unscrew it and go buy a new one. Uh, as I was winterizing my uh, toilet, my foot slipped off, and as it came up, uh, the pedal broke. So in this video, you're gonna see how we drilled out the old piece. Actually, it's, it's one molded piece. Uh, so we drilled out the center of it, uh, took some dimensions of it, uh, had a 3D printer, and we made a piece uh, to retrofit that. Uh, so uh, uh, you uh, go ahead and watch this video, and I think you're gonna be impressed. I was impressed uh, of the 3D uh, printer. Uh, so uh, have a great day, and I hope you enjoy the video. Now uh, we're video no video in here and gonna drill the center of it out. Uh, hopefully this will work for our adaption of our new plug. This is approximately a 16 millimeter drill bit. Let's make sure you get it straight. That's crooked. Just gotta be careful so you don't crack it. We only have to go down about a little over a half of an inch. And there, the hole's through. We'll insert our plug and uh, glue it in here in a minute. We'll be right back. Well, now we drilled the, the piece out of this. You can see the little tabs right there. Them little four tabs used to come over to the hole. But we clipped them down because this is our new piece that we made with our 3D printer very impressive so we took the measurements from the center of the pedal and this is actually the piece that was broken and you could see where this goes inside the toilet side which turns the flap when you press the pedal the new piece we made actually made it just a little bit longer it's about three millimeters right there on that diameter and with the slots so what I'm gonna do before I use the Devcon two-ton epoxy I'm gonna slip that through our pedal As you can see, them little slots line up right down in there, and it presses real good against it. And I'm going to take that epoxy and put it around the edge here, just to secure it, because there is a counterbore down inside that hole where the screw screws in. But before all that, when I took it off, I marked right across here with the marker where that keyway has to be straight with it. So, with that being said, we're going to line that keyway right here and these tabs that we cut out.
like so. Now you can see the keyway is lined up where it actually broke inside the toilet. What that does, if we do not line that keyway up, your paddle will either be too low or too high. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and fit this, make sure that I did it right and on the right angle before I glue the epoxy to it. Very impressive. I went to my local RV dealer and they told me that I had to buy a new toilet, that I cannot buy this pedal. So I did contact the, the distributor and they also told me the same thing. So I thought, well, maybe I can just drill this out and we can make something. I was, a, I was actually going to uh, use a bolt type thing. Or maybe turn a piece of aluminum. But with these new 3D printers, it's just amazing what you can do. After we measured everything with our micrometers and a scale and typed it into the printer, we came up with this. Hopefully this will work. Uh, I don't see why not. Uh, uh, the thing is when we, when I decided to put it against the tabs here, it's going to actually help it in, in movement so it will not break. And with the DevCon 2 ton epoxy, I think that's really going to help. Hey, I'll be right back. Uh, we're going to go fit this in the toilet and uh, we'll see uh, from there. Okay, I've fitted this in. And if you notice, I have to put the spring back down in there. And that spring, there is, a, you'll see it on the inside where it connects in a little groove. So I have it all lined up where it needs to be. I'm going to try to get a picture in here. It might not be too good. But that's where it's going. Try to get a little closer. But what that does, that moves your flap back and forth when you step on a pedal. Now, when you put this in, you want that closed. And once the key, I call it the key slot, is lined up, then we'll take this little screw. That little screw right there, that screws through that, and you just screw it on, and you're good to go. Then you have to put your little cap right here back on. So once I get this all together, we will flush and see if everything goes down well. Hey, well, we're back. I got it all together. You can see when I push down on the pedal. That opens it up. Our piece worked good. Uh, as you can see it there. There is one thing. You have to kind of use a, a screwdriver type thing like this. It's got the, the quarter inch socket already built on. That's the only thing that goes through that hole. That 16 millimeter hole. Actually it's not a 16. It's probably a little bit smaller. But the only thing I have to do, I got to fit it in there. Now I want to epoxy it. I'm going to take it back off. I have to adjust my spring. As you can see, it won't come back up by itself. There's that spring in there. So I'm pretty sure you have to put it in and turn it. Bring it up to the top and turn it to get some pressure on it. 
then screw your screw in, and I think we'll be good to go. Thank you for watching my video on how to repair a foot pedal on a Model 300 Dometic. Have a great day. Hey, well, we're back. I have it all on. Screwed in, as you can see here. My foot pedal works good. As we go up to the flap, I'm going to push it down. And it goes back up. And it seems like our application is going to work great. Now I'm going to go ahead and put that epoxy around inside just to secure it. Uh, I'm not going to put a lot in just in case if something happens to that one. I already made a second one just in case. And this is how you repair your Model 300 Dometic Toilet. Hey, I'm glad you guys... Hey, well, I got everything back together. I got it all sealed up there with my DevCon glue. The pedal works good. I adjusted the spring. Actually, you really don't really need to adjust the spring. I just didn't have it in the right notch. So you have to watch for that. I put my seal back in. That's one thing you want to check when you have all this apart. Just make sure you have a good seal. I want to thank everyone for watching my video. This is how you repair a foot pedal on a Dometic Model 300 RV toilet. Hey, my name's Tom, and I want to thank you for watching my video. I want to thank my buddy Dakota. He's the one who had the 3D printer that made the part for me. So until next time, happy camping. Bye now.